Hi everybody, it's Kate at Kate's Garden Chicken and Cat Rambles and it's another uh, very overcast, cool, windy day. But I just thought I'd show you the happy couple out foraging. There's Colin. And there is Moira in the garden, as long as she doesn't eat my green beans and my watermelon. I'll keep an eye, but they've got so much to forage. They've been out here foraging around the edges. I put some chicken wire over that missing gate in my neighbors just because they have a lot of stray cats over there and these birds to get away from them, but no use them wandering over into unfamiliar and possibly hostile territory. But I don't think they would go that far. They are staying within sight of all the other birds. Um, so today will be a test of, you know, how far they, they ramble about and I try not to ramble about them for too long. This morning I went out the front door um, to do a little weed eating and some trimming by the street. And when I went out the front door, they came running up to me. And they've had a little scratch tossed around different places. I wanna make sure that, you know, they're, they're always finding something delectable in their own yard. They're the leghorns and they're like, we kind of miss our sister. We're not sure, why can't we go out there too? And I do wish we could afford to a uh, poultry net, you know, a huge space, but that's just uh, many hundreds of dollars that I just don't have right now. But they're fine. They've got each other. They've got the three little ones who they like to chase around a bit. They're a little bit older, but they're a much heavier bodied, bigger bird than, than the cream crested leg bars. And I just don't trust them not to just go do their own thing and wander too far away. I think the only reason they seem to want out right now is because they see these two out here and they're like, are they getting something we're not? No, they're not. But they are all getting so big and they can't get out there. But at least they've got each other. Here are the uh, Easter eggers over there. Yeah, they're getting quite big too. They are uh, prim who uh, it's not developing a comb, so I still think that it's a female. I mean, I hope she doesn't end up being a male, but uh, she's pretty sassy. But And I haven't seen her actually climb on any of them. They'll try to climb under each other if they're frightened or they want to get warm, but nobody sits for her. So I'm hoping that she stays a prim and doesn't become a Cosmo. Hello, flower. Mm -hmm. There's Daisy over here by the mint. Uh, you can kind of see how this mint has got these little little zigzag pattern. Just come out a little bit through it. Like right here and here. That's where they have a little trail through it already. But everyone's doing good. I just wanted to take five minutes to show them um, the happy couple out here. She wasn't quite happy last night when I first put her in the in the uh, in the little temporary coop with him. She squawked for a little while, and then finally she uh, realized that uh, she could just hop up beside him and roost up beside him and snuggle up, and and she was warm and content, making a little sleepy trill noise. My Easter eggers make a little trilling while they sleep now still too. Things that my all my birds have. I think they just grow out of it, but. So hopefully tonight I won't have to chase them down and catch them, but I think she will go wherever Colum goes, so. And they will go to what's familiar and sm smells normal. So worst case scenario, she's up against this soft net fence and I can just grab her. Hey, don't be eating mama's peas. She's eating the flowers off the peas. Don't be eating mama's peas. Chickens love green peas, but they usually don't like the pods. But you know, it could be a first. But I got little pea pods coming. Little bitty ones. So, just the two of them, I really don't think there's a lot they can destroy. But they're out foraging and I'm gonna let them. Okay, she just walked past the watermelon, yay. If they eat a couple, that's fine. You know, I got a lot growing. Paul and I can only eat so many watermelon. I got one for them all. So now I'm just going to have to 
put their trunk out here, but yeah. I'll let them wander the garden, because I love them. But I'm so glad to see them, you know, out together. His tail is up, what's left of it. And he's, uh, he's got his girl, he's not alone. And they do have the other chickens to the fence, so I think it's all good. Of course, Laddie's over here with, with the Heathers. Yeah, the, the meanest Heathers, and they're on the nest box. There's the Leghorns, who they love hanging out in the coop in this little run, especially with the weather inclement. So they slept on their fine last night, made themselves, made themselves comfortable on the very top roost at this, at this end here. All my birds get on the very top uh, to my right here, and they were both right up here, and then on the second uh, level, the little Easter eggers were bunched up in this far corner, so. All's good, and I'm happy to, Colm's not alone, and he's not being, he's no longer being molested by Damien over here. Anyway, you guys have a great week. Bye for now.